Look at that stats. Look at them stats. So yeah, level 21 now. Made a few changes to my guy. Look at him. Look at him being awesome. So yeah, final sets of levels. It's a short game, I guess. That's good. Then I can make this a one-night stand, which was pretty much my plan from the beginning. I have the survival levels, but those are just... I don't know. They don't seem very interesting. I did one of them and got a pretty good score, but... I don't know. I'm not a fan of that sort of stuff. Okay, so I have to go after him. I like how they incorporate the fact that he takes a while to slow down as an element into the gameplay that it's difficult to outrun enemies going downwards. It's easier to, go, to outrun them going upwards. Level 21. Perfect score. Neat. Ooh, it's this. It's a fan blade. I don't get the problem. Uh, that's that's cool. Now it's getting a little bit annoying. Got to maintain optimum controls, after all. Don't want to lose control. Going out of control. Oh no, it's about to get fisted. Ham fisted. I don't even know what a hell a ham fist is, but it doesn't sound any prettier. Swell. Yes! Ooh, 20's plenty. That's true, my dear achievement friend. 20's plenty. There's also a few level-based achievements, which I will be doing very soon. And I think I know what exactly the achievements are. I'll be doing them after this recording-wise. You probably will see them in a separate video. For example, in that windmill level, you're not permitted to, to press left, which I guess makes sense. We're not supposed to go left. We. Check. Because at the very least, give me a point for that one. That was so awful, you are now legally permitted to kill me. Not really legally. I mean, full legally. Which is illegally. Did I even get the sticker? I guess not. So guess who's have to do that? Uh, who has to do that one again? In for a penny, in for a pound, is what they say. Or as they say in America, in for a cent, in for a dollar. Or as we say in Europe, in for a cent, in for a euro. And they all speak English, which is the fun part. That was the great escape. No idea where the sticker could be, though. Mista, Mista, where's the sticker? Come on, the sticker has to be somewhere, right? Dude, dude, dude. Oh, yeah, I saw that bolt spot up there, and I'm not that stupid. It's really annoying because you can't see it, but hey, they gave enough hints. Hints in the form of do rolling death barrels. Although I don't consider rolling death barrels a good hint. 
See, you can see that little bold spot, like, uh, right, th right below me. That's a good clue, but it could be a little bit better. Then again, stickers are awesome. Customization options are awesome. I don't even know how big these files are, but they're... Surely they can't be too big. Unlike the big computer, the desktop, this one doesn't have memory issues that much. This again? Oh, I see. That again. Check! Oh, I'm not gonna go for perfect then. So this seems really complex and I'd like to focus on actually passing it. Oh, swell. Now I have to do it all fucking over again. This is not fun. If this is what you want your game to be mind-lumbingly annoying like this, now I have to get them all again! How is this casual? That is not casual design. A casual design is that it doesn't fucking matter how much you screw up, you could still pass it as long as you get it. Unless the level completing is casual, in which case I wholeheartedly agree. Getting out of this place alive is in no way difficult. Got the sticker, got the cubes, I'm out of here. Oh great, we're dealing with the barrels again. Wow! I don't even know how difficult the level is, that may have just been a stupid mistake. Look at my monocle. That's just really mean. How the hell are you supposed to time that? That's awkward, at best. That's really awkward. That's really awkward timing. But hey, I passed. Perfect. I didn't think I passed perfect, but I guess I'm just getting my mind screwed up. This again? Oh yeah, this is really great. By the way, apparently I love Storm. <laughs> okay, this I confess is a little bit more difficult. There you are, I kinda missed ya. Thought you were like the staple of this level. Staple. Hey, perfect! I c guess I could go for 30. 30 perfects. So I think it's also my limit, and I learned that this has 40 regular levels. And that I just died, and I have to retry, because this game, for some reason, restarts you without restarting. It just doesn't send you back to a checkpoint, it just says, you know what, you tried, so we're just gonna put you all the way back, but we're not going to reset it. So unfortunately for you, you're going to have to press retry before you actually retry. I don't know who thought that was a good idea, or if the person can't code that in because he's not intelligent enough, or doesn't have the right skills to do that, but that's probably one of the few things I'd ask for in this game. Is that dying without a checkpoint just counts as restarting. And that is an annoying one to get. Luckily, I don't give a shit about my time. Oh, come on, man. Now I have to press retry again. 
Can't even press R because the only buttons that do anything are left, right, A and D, and space. The rest is all just fuck you buttons. In case you have noticed, I'm getting more agitated as I'm playing this game. Which is not good for a casual game because the principle of rage is not found in casuality. In causality. Oh, I know you. You're that annoying guy that I once met. I wonder if whoever made this game hates space bars. Yay! And we got it perfectly. Perfect is not my goal, but it's definitely something to look out for. <laughs> now, I probably won't play this game to get per this again. Again? Really? 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 I mean, for, for, for using me here right now? Yeah, you are for reusing me right now. Oh, that was lucky. At least they're not hiding anything bullshitty down there. I wonder if stickers unlock set things or if they just unlock things periodically in the order. In a specific order. Ooh! Star stickers. Which unfortunately do not grant temporarily invincibility or pro exceed the time of normal invincibility. Screw you, level design. You have fought bravely. But even that is not enough for when the victor comes. Oh. Okay, it might be enough for when the victor comes. Yay! Hover, 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 hover. Whoop! De doo! A thousand bonus points for me. Despite the fact that this game does not use a point system. That would grant myself a thousand bonus points. Oh, fuck you. I think the only reason, the reason this music repeats is because he was too busy thinking what elements he should reuse. No, Blech. I have to say the thing looks weird because it's all you can see. Is that it's that's all you're supposed to see, actually? I'm going to switch to my left hand so I can rest on my other. Since when did this go from casual storm in a cup, let's go happy go lucky to super meat boy accurate jumping? Those things were right on each other's noses. So that's the trick. Oh! You! I bet you the ending's right fucking there. 
because I had only one Surga Cube left to go. Wait, I forgot I need to retry, because else I don't get it perfect, because this game's so fucking retarded like that. Honestly, that's probably the shittiest part of this entire level design. Yes! Ooh, I got another survival level. Not that I care. Level 31. So yeah, next time, next level pack.